Hey there pirates, welcome aboard the Anime Nomi channel. The Cross Guild is gaining great prominence within One Piece, being an organization that is causing major changes in the world, in addition to being in charge of the underworld. In today's video, we will talk about the Cross Guild, which pirates make up this crew, and which other pirates will be able to participate in this crew in the future in this final saga. Before we dive into the video, don't forget to smash that like button, give us a thumbs up to unlock your devil fruit powers, and hit that subscribe button to awaken. Now. Let's jump into the video. Guys, the Cross Guild is a powerful and influential organization that emerged from the union of three former members of the Shichibuki, namely Buggy, Crocodile, and Dracul Miha. Its foundation originated from the failed plan known as Operation Utopia, led by Crocodile. Initially conceived as a military organization, the Cross Guild plays a significant role in the world of One Piece, exploring unique dynamics in the political and military landscape. The Cross Guild's leadership is made up of Crocodile, Crocodile and Mihawk, the organization's true founders and main strategists. However, due to a misunderstanding on the part of Buggy's crew, Buggy ended up assuming the presidency of the organization, becoming a prominent leader. Despite being recognized by Sakai Seifu as one of the four emperors, Buggy plays a more symbolic role, while Crocodile and Mihawk maintain control of operations. One of the distinctive aspects of Cross Guild is its reward system, which differs from the standard used by Sakai Seifu. Instead of offering rewards to to pirates, the organization gives rewards to sailors. This creates a unique dynamic where naval officers not only face threats from pirates, but also from civilians and bounty hunters. The reward system is based on the number of stars or crowns awarded to each sailor, with each star being equivalent to 100 million bailey and each crown to 1 billion bailey. The Cross Guild is recognized as a considerable threat due to its ability to influence the actions of sailors through the bounty system. The organization receives funding from various underworld organizations which further increases its strength and influence. The organization counts on the notoriety of its leaders, including Crocodile, former president of Baroque Works, and Dracul Miha, considered the strongest swordsman in the world. The reputation of these former warlords, along with their ability to grant massive rewards, led Sakai Seifu to recognize the Cross Guild, with Buggy as one of its leaders, as one of the four emperors. Within the ranks of the Cross Guild, we find members of the Buggy Pirates, former Baroque Works agents like Daz Bonez and Galdino, as well as former inmates of Impel Down and former employees of Buggy's delivery. These members demonstrate fervent loyalty to Buggy, even though he is more of a front leader. The organization represents not only a military threat, but also a concern about the possibility of betrayal from civilians, which could undermine the sailors' morale in the long term, as noted by Sengoku and Tsuru. Taken together, the Cross Guild is a force to be reckoned with in the world of One Piece, with a unique combination of military power, political influence, and an innovative approach to the rewards landscape. Currently, the Cross Guild has solidified its position as one of the most powerful crews in the world of One Piece, posing a direct threat to the balance established by the Navy and Sakai Saifu. With its trio of leaders made up of Crocodile, Mihawk, and Buggy, the organization combines cunning strategies, exceptional combat skills, and significant political influence to challenge established norms. The Cross Guild's reward system not only replaces traditional expectations, but also places sailors in a constant state of vulnerability by offering rewards to their own defenders of justice. The organization creates an environment in which the sailor's loyalty is put to the test, with potential danger coming not only from pirates, but also from the very citizens they are sworn to protect. The Cross Guild's ability to acquire financing from the underworld further intensifies its threat, providing substantial resources for its operations. Crocodile's formidable leadership, with his experience as former president of Baroque Works and user of the Suna Suna No Me, and Dracul Mihawk, the renowned swordsman, contributes to the organization's fearsome reputation. Buggy, despite his more ceremonial position, plays a crucial role by serving as a public figure who diverts attention from the true leaders. Buggy's public naming as one of the four emperors by Sakai Seifu is indicative of official recognition of the threat posed by the Cross Guild, the organization he leads. The combined total of the three leaders' rewards, reaching 8,744,000,000 belly, demonstrates the magnitude of the challenge they pose to world stability. The Cross Guild's political influence is not limited to just the military threat. The ability to undermine sailors' confidence, as noted by Sengoku and Tsuru, suggests a potential long-term impact on the Navy's internal cohesion. Civilian betrayal, encouraged by the organization, can trigger consequences that go beyond the battlefield, affecting morale and the effectiveness of Navy operations. Therefore, the Cross Guild emerges as a great force that challenges the status established by the Navy and the Sakai 
Kai Seifu. His presence on the world stage of One Piece highlights not only his military capabilities, but also his significant impact on the political and social dynamics of the vast One Piece universe. The Cross Guild, with its leaders and members, forms a formidable alliance that challenges the established structures within the world of One Piece. By taking a closer look at the most powerful members, you can better understand the strength and diversity of this influential organization. Starting with the leaders, Buggy, although he boasts an impressive bounty of 3 billion 189 million belly, his true influence in the Cross Guild is more symbolic than actually representative of his strength. As a figurehead leader, Sakai Seifu's appointment as one of the four emperors diverts attention from the true strategists, Crocodile and Dracul Mihawk. His high reward reflects both his notoriety and his position as a ceremonial leader. Crocodile, former president of Baroque Works and user of the Suna Suna Nomi, is one of the Cross Guild's main mentors. With your reward of 1,965,000,000 belly, he poses a considerable threat, combining strategic skills and the power of a devil fruit. His experience as a former warlord of the sea adds an additional layer of dangerousness to the organization. Finally, Dracul Mihawk, the strongest swordsman in the world, brings an extraordinary level of martial skill to the Cross Guild. His massive reward of 3,590,000,000 belly reflects not only his prowess as a swordsman, but also his influence as a respected figure in the world of blades. Within the Cross Guild, there are also members who play a considerably important role. Daz Bonez is a former Baroque works agent. His considerable bounty of 75 million Bailey reflects his skills as a user of the Supa Supa no Mi, which grants the ability to transform body parts into sharp blades. His loyalty to Crocodile makes him a valuable asset in the Cross Guild. Galdino, formerly known as Mr. Three of Baroque Works, is a master at creating and molding wax through his Doru Doru no Mi for various purposes, possessing a bounty of 24 million Belly. His skill in combat strategies and respectable reward contribute to the diversity of talent within the organization. Alvida, a pirate notorious for her pursuit of beauty, is another member of the Cross Guild. Her reward of 5 million belly, although smaller compared to the leaders, highlights her presence in the organization as a force to be reckoned with. Her involvement in the Cross Guild suggests that her pursuit of beauty is now tied to broader goals. Moji, the lion tamir, Richie, the sea serpent, and Kabaji, the acrobat, with exceptional swordplay skills, complete the Cross Guild cast. While their individual rewards are smaller, their collective presence adds tactical variety and brute force to the organization. The Cross Guild, with its collection of notable members, represents a cohesive and diverse force that challenges the established balance in the world of One Piece. Each member, with their unique abilities, contributes to the uniqueness and threat that the organization represents, cementing itself as a formidable presence in the world of One Piece. The Cross Guild, whose strength and influence are already impressive, holds secrets and potentials that have not yet been revealed. The organization, with its strategic leadership and notable members may be about to expand its power even further, recruiting renowned pirates with extraordinary skills. Within the ranks of the Cross Guild, it is possible that there are members whose exceptional abilities have not yet been exposed to the public. The ability to attract and integrate previously undiscovered talent highlights Cross Guild as a dynamic force that continually molds itself to suit the complexities of the underworld. The Cross Guild's recruitment strategy is not just limited to internal mysteries, as the organization can actively seek out renowned pirates pirates, and holders of great power. This strategic approach aims not only to expand the organization's military strength, but also to consolidate alliances and influence in different parts of the world of One Piece. The Cross Guild's reputation as an attractive destination for ambitious pirates is a key player in this power play. The ability to recruit powerful pirates gives Cross Guild the opportunity to further diversify its skill set. By attracting individuals with unique talents and varied expertise, the organization becomes a more more versatile force, capable of tackling a wider range of challenges. This strategy not only strengthens the Cross Guild, but also challenges established structures in the pirate world, creating an entity that transcends conventional expectations. This strategic approach by the Cross Guild is not just limited to the search for notable individuals, but also suggests a redefinition of the conventional patterns of One Piece's underworld. By attracting some extremely talented pirates, from skilled navigators to cunning strategists, the organization 
is forging an innovative path to power and influence. The versatility resulting from this diversity of skills not only gives CrossGuild unique adaptability in different scenarios, but also challenges established norms in piracy. While many crews rely on brute strength or military strategy, the CrossGuild seeks a harmonious balance between its members' specialties. This creates an entity that cannot be easily categorized or anticipated, making it an unpredictable force that keeps rivals and authorities on constant alert. Furthermore, by recruiting powerful pirates, the Cross Guild not only expands its influence, but also redefines the concept of loyalty and belonging within piracy. The organization's members are attracted to something more than simple loot or fame. They are united by a shared purpose and the promise to achieve ambitious goals that go beyond the individualism common in the pirate world. Cross Guild's boldness in challenging conventional structures does not go unnoticed. While others cling to rigid hierarchies and traditional alliances, the organization embraces a more fluid approach, adapting to the needs and opportunities that present themselves. As the Cross Guild continues its journey, recruiting powerful pirates and defying expectations, the entire world is impacted by the impact of this innovative approach. The underworld, accustomed to predictable narratives, now watches intently as the Cross Guild becomes a force that transcends the boundaries of the ordinary, leaving its mark on the vast ocean of One Piece. There is latent speculation within the world of One Piece about the possibility of the Cross Guild, considering including Don Quixote do Flamingo in its crew. Do Flamingo, formerly known as Joker and the King of the Underworld, held significant influence before being captured and imprisoned following the events of Dressrosa. Do Flamingo, with a bounty previously set at 340 million belly, was a key player in the underground scene. His political prowess and skill at manipulation were unparalleled, and he amassed a vast network of contacts in the underworld. The possibility of rescuing Doflamingo from prison and incorporating him into the Cross Guild raises intriguing questions about the potential strengthening of the organization, an action that could turn out to be favorable to the Cross Guild. The former King of the Underworld brings with him not only remarkable combat skills, as evidenced in his use of the Devil Fruit Ito Ito no Mi, but also a deep knowledge of the intricacies and intrigues of the Underworld. Its inclusion in the Cross Guild could significantly expand the organization's influence, cementing its position as a dominant power in the world of One Piece, particularly the Underworld. However, the possibility of recruiting Doflamingo also carries challenges and risks for the Cross Guild. His manipulative personality and his own ambitions can conflict with the existing leadership of the Cross Guild, particularly with figures such as Crocodile and Mihawk. Additionally, Doflamingo's past relationship with the Navy and Sakai Seifu may raise issues of trust within the organization. Doflamingo's addition to the Cross Guild would certainly transform the organization's internal dynamics, bringing with him a unique set of skills, contacts, and strategies. The One Piece community waits with bated breath to see if this potential alliance comes to fruition, and how it would shape the course of events on the Grand Line. The Cross Guild, already a force to be feared, could become even more imposing with the inclusion of Doflamingo, a former king of the underworld, Don Quixote. Doflamingo's possible inclusion in the Cross Guild would not only add an intriguing dimension to the organization, but would also introduce a significant source of power and influence into the world of One Piece. Doflamingo, known for his cunning political skills, his Machiavellian manipulation, and his mastery of the devil fruit, Ito Ito no Mi, holds a unique position among the most feared and respected figures on the pirate scene. The former king of the underworld is not only a master at controlling political puppets, but is also a formidable adversary in combat, as evidenced by his participation in the events of Dressrosa. Even after his arrest, Doflamingo's shadow continues to loom over the world, indicating that his power and reputation have not diminished. Doflamingo's influence in the underworld is particularly highlighted, as he maintained an extensive network of contacts and controlled vast illegal operations. By incorporating its connections and knowledge into the Cross Guild's arsenal, the organization could significantly expand its influence in the underworld and beyond. Furthermore, Doflamingo's presence in the Cross Guild could be a valuable strategic tool. Their ability to manipulate situations and handle difficult negotiations could be employed to solidify alliances, weaken adversaries, and further consolidate the organization's power. His years of experience as a leader of the underworld would also provide a unique insight into the behind the scenes of crime, which could be crucial in future endeavors. However, Doflamingo's inclusion in the Cross Guild would not be without its challenges. His manipulative personality and ambitions could create internal tensions within the organization. Furthermore, Doflamingo's past history with Sakai Seifu could generate distrust among Cross Guild leaders.
considering that the organization is already seen as a significant threat by world authorities. Thus, Do Flamingo's potential addition to the Cross Guild is a fascinating point of discussion within the world of One Piece. His undeniable influence, both in the underworld and on the pirate scene, makes him a valuable asset that could elevate the organization to new heights of power and prestige. Another character who could join the Cross Guild is Katakuri, one of the most prominent children of the powerful Big Mom. Joining the Cross Guild after the loss of his mother during the confrontation on Onigashima would add a fascinating twist to the political and pirate dynamics of the world of One Piece. Katakuri, known for his exceptional strength and skills with the Mochi Mochi No Mi Devil Fruit, is a respected and feared figure in the pirate scene. His decision to join the Cross Guild would be influenced not only by his search for a new purpose after Big Mom's death, but also by the opportunity to continue his quest for power and control over the underworld. Big Mom's death could represent a turning point in Katakuri's life, causing him to reevaluate Katakuri's loyalties and goals. The Cross Guild, with its growing influence and stated ambitions, would offer Katakuri a platform to channel his formidable skill toward new goals. Katakuri's inclusion in the Cross Guild would be a significant gain for the organization. His reputation as the elite commander of the Big Mom Pirates would bring him instant authority, and his exceptional combat skills would greatly strengthen the strength of the Cross Guild. Furthermore, his tactical experience and knowledge of New World political games would be invaluable resources for the organization, making Katakuri a key player in this pirate organization. Katakuri's change of allegiance could also have profound implications for the pirate scene. The strategic alliance between Katakuri and the Cross Guild could redefine alliances and rivalries, impacting not only the Straw Hats, but also other powerful groups in the world of One Piece. Katakuri's fate and his decision to join the Cross Guild would represent an engaging narrative full of possibilities. The addition of Katakuri to the Cross Guild would represent a significant milestone for the organization, elevating it to new heights of power and recognition in the world of One Piece. The presence of Katakuri, an elite commander with a staggering bounty of 1 billion and 57 million Bailey, would bring unprecedented credibility to the Cross Guild. Katakuri's incorporation into the Cross Guild would not just be symbolic. Its formidable strength would transform the organization into an even more substantial threat to the other powers of the New World. With his exceptional abilities utilizing the Mochi Mochi no Mi Devil Fruit and his mastery in combat, Katakuri would be a strategic asset in any Cross Guild endeavor. Katakuri's worldwide reputation as one of the Big Mom Pirate's most respected commanders would bring an aura of respect and awe to the Cross Guild. His presence would add a dimension of global recognition, increasing the organization's influence not only among other pirate crews, but also in the political and military environment. Katakuri's wealth of experience in the underworld and his understanding of the intricacies of the New World would be invaluable to the Cross Guild. His ability to manipulate political games and his strategic vision could be used to consolidate alliances, undermine rivals, and position the organization as a dominant power. Furthermore, Katakuri, as the former commander of the Big Mom Pirates, would be not only a powerful warrior but also a respected leader. His presence in the Cross Guild could inspire loyalty among existing members and attract other prominent pirates looking for a banner under which to fight. There are also other possibilities that worst generation pirates who aren't getting a lot of focus, like Scratchman Apu, Yurouge, or Capone Beji, may seek alliance with the Cross Guild. This theory suggests that these pirates, who currently have a more discreet profile, could be planning a strategic move to gain control over the underworld and thus rekindle their trajectories in history. Apu, leader of the On Air Pirates, is recognized for his unique ability to manipulate sounds. Its potential inclusion in the Cross Guild could offer the organization an increase in strength and strategic preparations. Apu, seeking influence in the underworld, could use her musical prowess and previous experience as a supernova to excel in a new role under the Cross Guild banner. The captain of the fallen monk pirates, Aruj, stood out for his notable endurance and connections to the Skypea Islands. His possible membership in the Cross Guild could bring raw strength and a unique perspective due to his past experience. Aruj's importance in the organization would potentially be amplified by his role in expanding the Cross Guild's operations into underexplored and strategic areas. Capone Beji, leader of the Fire Tank Pirates, is known for his devil fruit ability Shiro Shiro no Mi, allowing him to transform parts of his body into a mobile fortress. His strategic prowess and leadership experience would make him a valuable asset in the Cross Guild's quest for control of the underworld. Beg could also use his cunning to improve the organization's operations and objectives. Seeking to reaffirm their influence on the pirate scene, these characters who are currently in the background could find in Cross Guild a platform to 
redefine their destinies. The relationship between these pirates and the organization could provide an intriguing dynamic, where their individual skills and ambitions intertwine with the Cross Guild's goals, culminating in a collaboration that would redefine the balance of power in the underworld. The potential alliance between worst generation pirates like Scratchman Apu, Yuruj, and Capone Beige, and the Cross Guild would not only add a new dimension to the narrative, but also present a significant threat to the Straw Hats in the future. These pirates, although currently in a more low-key spotlight, have a wealth of skills and experience that, when combined with the resources and strategies of the Cross Guild, would make them formidable opponents. The collective influence of these characters in the organization would be a crucial factor in the search for control of the underworld and in changing the political and pirate landscape. By joining the Cross Guild, Apu, Yuruj, and Capone Beige would not only expand the diversity of skills within the organization, but also strengthen its strategic position. Each of these pirates of the worst generation brings with them not only singular combat power, but also a deep understanding of the intricacies of the new world and their own unique ambitions. This union could create a formidable set of challenges for the Straw Hats. Apu's unpredictable methods, Uruja's remarkable resistance, and Capone Beige's strategic cunning would make the Cross Guild a force to be feared. Furthermore, the prospect of confronting not just one, but multiple generation worse threats consolidated under the banner of the Cross Guild would represent an unparalleled test for the crew led by Monkey D. Luffy. The Straw Hats, known for overcoming formidable odds, would be faced with an alliance that would challenge not only their brute strength, but also their ability to adapt and strategize. The balance of power in the new world could be about to shift irreversibly, as this joining of forces threatens to become an insurmountable obstacle for the Straw Hats, forcing them to explore new strategies and deepen their existing alliances to confront this imminent pirate storm. In this tense and unpredictable scenario, the alliance between pirates of the worst generation and the Cross Guild becomes a crucial piece on the New World board. The potential confrontation between this coalition and the Straw Hats would not only add excitement to the narrative, but could also reshape the course of pirate history. While the Straw Hats have a reputation for overcoming challenges, the strategic union between Apu, Yuruj, and Capone Beige under the Cross Guild banner represents a multifaceted threat. The diversity of skills and fighting styles of these worst generation pirates would create a unique challenge for Luffy and his crew. Apu's unpredictability, whose ability to manipulate sounds can disorient even the most skilled opponents, adds a layer of complexity to confrontations. Uruj, in turn, with his remarkable resistance and connections in the Skypea Islands, could explore innovative tactics and a mysterious past that could reveal new abilities for this character, while Capone Beggy, with his mobile fortress, offers a unique defensive approach. Approach. The Cross Guild, by integrating these pirates, would not only expand its crew with powerful pirates, but also consolidate a united force with clear ambitions to control the underworld. This alliance would not only be a physical threat, but also a strategic and political threat. The Straw Hats, faced with this imminent global change, would be challenged to evolve their strategies and explore new alliances. Luffy and his crew's adaptation and resilience would be tested like never before, as they would face not just individually powerful enemies, but a cohesive force determined to redefine the balance of power in the New World. Another character who could enter the Cross Guild through a triumphant return would be Arlong. His entry into the group, strengthened by a period of improvement, would position him as a force of fear on the pirate scene. Arlong, previously limited to Fish Island, would now see his ambitions grow exponentially with the possibility of joining the Cross Guild. Their desire to create an exclusive territory for the Fishmen would cease to be a regional aspiration and become a global ambition, supported by the resources and influence of the power military organization. Arlong's return would also represent a rebirth of his combat strategies and skills. The time away provided him with an opportunity to improve and evolve, becoming an even more formidable force. Strengthening his brute strength with a refined strategic mind would turn him into a ruthless opponent. The strategic alliance between Arlong and the Cross Guild would not just be an association of convenience, but a convergence of objectives. His ability to lead the Fishmen would be exploited to the fullest, consolidating them as a significant strategic resource for the Cross Guild. This dynamic, in turn, would alter political alliances and rivalries in the underworld, redefining the rules of the game. Arlong's rebirth in the Cross Guild would not just be a matter of individual power, he would become a symbol of a new era. The fear and notoriety he once held would be revitalized, triggering a wave of concern and speculation among the Sakai Seifu and other powers. Taken together, the union of Arlong and the Cross Guild would translate into a threat on a global scale. The Straw Hats and other protagonists would face not 
just a powerful adversary, but a force that could rewrite the rules of the underworld and challenge the established order. The resurgence of Arlong, allied with the Cross Guild, would be an exciting and implication-filled turning point in the expansive One Piece universe. Arlong, now integrated into the Cross Guild, would rise as a central and undeniably vital figure for the organization, playing a role that would transcend expected expectations. His presence, fueled by brute strength, leadership skills, and exceptional strategy, would indisputably shape the course of the Cross Guild's operations in the complex landscape of the underworld. Arlong, known for his fierce tenacity and unparalleled combat skills, would become a pillar of strength for the Cross Guild. His personal dexterity combined with his ability to command legions of fishmen would make him an incomparable asset in the organization's military endeavors. Every strategic move would be strengthened by Arlong's imposing presence. Arlong's unique ability to control and mobilize the fishmen would prove to be an essential strategic tool for the Cross Guild. This consolidated loyalty, combined with the organization's influence, would allow for a marked influence not only in the underworld, but also in broader political and social scenes. The fishmen would become not just soldiers, but ambassadors and agents of influence for the interests of the Cross Guild. Control of maritime territories would be one of the areas in which Arlong would shine. Their familiarity with aquatic environments and their fearless exploration of the seas would make it possible to establish strategic bases, control points, and crucial sea routes. The Cross Guild, now guided by Arlong's underwater strategies, would gain a significant tactical advantage. Arlong, by playing a central role in the Cross Guild, would renew its notoriety on a global scale. His reputation as a formidable leader and exceptional strategist, combined with the organization's influence, would resonate with the pirates and provoke apprehension in the corridors of power, including the Sakai Seifu. Taken together, the union between Arlong and the Cross Guild would be a formidable feat. His role would transcend simple military contributions, embracing the complexities of the underworld and influence influencing the political landscape. Finally, another interesting event would be the imminent entry of Edward Weevil into the Cross Guild, an event that promises to be a watershed in the One Piece underworld scenario. Edward Weevil's unparalleled strength and quest for legitimacy as Whitebeard's son would be catalysts for transforming the organization into an even more fearsome and influential force. Edward Weevil's brute strength would be an invaluable strategic asset for the Cross Guild. Its entry into the organization would significantly expand its military capacity, making it a dominant presence in any conflict. Weevil's reputation as an unstoppable force would not only intimidate enemies, but also serve as a banner of power for the Cross Guild, signaling its undisputed rise in the underworld. Weevil's quest for legitimacy as Whitebeard's heir could be leveraged by the Cross Guild for broader goals. The organization would become a vehicle to validate their claims, not only among pirates, but also before the world. Recognition from the Cross Guild could be used to validate Weevil's heritage, solidifying his position not only as a formidable pirate, but as a legitimate and respected figure. Weevil's presence in the Cross Guild would not only be destructive, but also strategic. Their ability to crush opponents would open the way to claiming territories and resources in the organization's name. The Cross Guild, under the combined leadership of Edward Weevil and other prominent members, would become a force to be reckoned with, controlling strategic areas and influencing the balance of power in the underworld. Furthermore, his entry into the Cross Guild would strengthen the organization's negotiating power. The reputation for destruction and chaos associated with Weevil would be a persuasive tool in agreements and negotiations. The organization could use this influence to consolidate alliances or coerce rivals, further strengthening its dominant position. The merging of Edward Weevil's immense fame and formidable strength with the Cross Guild represents a convergence of powers that would not only strengthen the organization, but catapult it to unprecedented status in One Piece's underworld. The irresistible pull of resources resources and followers around the Cross Guild would be an instant phenomenon. Weevil's fame as Whitebeard's supposed heir would act as a lure, attracting a legion of pirates, mercenaries, and sympathizers in search of an alliance under the organization's banner. This influx of support would strengthen not only the military strength of the Cross Guild, but also its influence and presence in several regions. Edward Weevil's intimidating presence would be a powerful strategic tool in underworld negotiations. The pirate's reputation as a a force of destruction would give the Cross Guild an advantageous position in agreements and disputes, allowing the organization to enforce its terms more effectively. Weevil's influence over other pirates and groups would solidify the Cross Guild's position as a dominant and feared entity. The Cross Guild's negotiating power would expand considerably, since the figure of Edward Weevil transcends the borders of the underworld. Its global fame would open doors in different
different circles, allowing the organization to establish strategic alliances in political and pirate spheres. Weevil's ability to attract global attention would contribute to the Cross Guild's widespread recognition as a force to be taken seriously. The conquest of strategic territories would be facilitated by Edward Weevil's ability to crush opponents. The Cross Guild, aiming to expand its dominance, would rely on Edward Weevil's brutal prowess to consolidate its control over strategic areas. This territorial expansion would not only increase the organization's influence, but also strengthen its position amid the complex dynamics of the underworld. As we can see, the Cross Guild stands out as a truly formidable entity whose power and influence defy established norms in the world of One Piece. With strategic leaders like Buggy, Crocodile, and Dracul Mihawk, the organization not only encompasses diverse forces, but also redefines the landscape of the underworld. The ongoing search for powerful pirates to join your group is a testament to the Cross Guild's commitment to cementing its position as a leading force in the vast ocean. By attracting notable individuals, the organization not only diversifies its skill set, but also strengthens its power in ways that surprise even the most attentive observers. Cross Guild's ability to transcend conventional expectations of piracy not only challenges pre-existing structures, but also sets it on an upward trajectory. The constant desire to recruit powerful pirates highlights the tireless pursuit of excellence and the determination to face any challenge that presents itself. In a landscape where each new recruit adds a unique dimension to the Cross Guild's collective strength, the organization is shaping its destiny in bold ways. The prospect of recruiting powerful pirates resonates as an ongoing strategy to strengthen the crew and, more crucially, to overcome enemies who dare cross your path. In this dynamic landscape, Cross Guild leaders play crucial roles in guiding and strengthening the organization, allowing them to become a force to be feared worldwide for their great deeds. Buggy, known for his cunning and charisma, takes on the role of master strategist, skillfully manipulating situations to the benefit of the guild. His ability to unite different factions under the banner of the Cross Guild is remarkable, and his charismatic presence inspires loyalty among members. Crocodile, with his prowess in using the Suna Suna No My Fruits abilities, offers a unique strategic advantage, capable of facing challenges that other pirate groups simply cannot overcome. His pragmatic vision and relentless determination solidify Cross Guild position as a force to be reckoned with, allowing this organization to be recognized for its pirates and extremely powerful leaders. Meanwhile, Dracul Mahawk, the renowned swordsman, adds a unique dimension to the Cross Guild, being not only a master of the sword, but also a meticulous strategist and a former mariner hunter. His imposing presence and sharp skills elevate the guild's prestige, attracting the attention of other pirates and organizations who recognize the strength of this incredible and unexpected alliance between these totally diverse Divergent pirates. The constant search for new recruits highlights the Cross Guild's progressive approach to power. In a world where stagnation can lead to levels never seen before, the organization understands the importance of constantly adapting and evolving. Thus, the Guild not only attracts the most powerful, but also the most innovative and recognized pirates who have great fame in the world of One Piece, those who bring with them new tactics, skills, and perspectives. In this context, the Cross Guild is not just a pirate alliance. It is a force that actively challenges the status of the world, further pushing the limits of what is possible possible in the One Piece universe. Its reputation as an indomitable power is perpetuated not only by brute strength, but by the ability to reinvent itself and face challenges in unpredictable ways. As the guild advances across tumultuous seas, its upward trajectory indicates not only a quest for power, but an unwavering determination to shape the future of the seas. The era of seismic change is underway, and Cross Guild is at the forefront of this movement, leaving a trail of surprise and respect wherever it goes. So, as the Cross Guild advances across the tumultuous seas of One Piece, its reputation as an indomitable power and promise to recruit even more powerful pirates signal an era of seismic change. That's a wrap for today's content. We hope you enjoyed it and want to share your thoughts on the subject. Don't forget to share the video, give it a thumbs up, and catch you in the next video. Take care and stay awesome.